Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about I'm your man, not your boy. Go back to Africa. Because yes, he has indeed changed his tune and instead of promoting Africa as a place to live, he has said that Africa is not ready for him and he has no intentions of living in Africa and he's looking elsewhere and we're going to talk about it. So if you didn't already know, Go Black to Africa is a full-time YouTuber and he travels all around Africa and he interviews the locals and, you know, talks about how great Africa is and how all of us should travel there and even move there. But lately, his last few videos, he's been really talking about how it's just not the place for him. Now, what do I think about that? Because there are some issues in Africa. I've been to Africa. I have traveled actually to Sierra Leone and received my citizenship by DNA. And I have to tell you, Africa is not ready for us to come because of the infrastructure, because of the corruption. And those are the two biggest reasons why Africa isn't ready for us to come. And I know there's a lot of people there saying we have to come, meaning us who were born and raised elsewhere in the diaspora, we should come and build in Africa. So I don't know about all of that, I think the Africans who have left and have made like lots and lots of money uh, in the Western countries and things like that, I think they should go back and build. But uh, just outsiders, and we are outsiders, African Americans, UK Americans, and uh, Canadian <laughs> are all outsiders, and we can't go in there and change anything because there's going to be war. You know, the locals are going to fight against us. I mean, they don't fight against the others. And you know who I mean when I say others. But anybody black trying to come in, it's going to be war. So it's up to the Africans, you know, Nigerians, the Sierra Leoneans, the Senegal guys, and just all those, all those, all you Africans out there who were born and raised in Africa, or even just born there, and then maybe you lived your life in some other, like in a Western country. It's up to you guys to fix Africa. The Chinese and the Indians aren't going to fix it unless they're in charge. And they're working on that. They're working on being in charge and taking over. And, you know, it's, as usual, somebody's sleeping. But, you know, I'm not going to say. We're talking about Go Black. So... And he makes a lot of sense. He does. He makes a lot of sense. And I do not disagree with him. Uh, I have to say, of all the countries I've ever visited, and I'm a world traveler, I have never been treated as poorly as when I traveled to Africa. And your experience begins almost immediately. Just like if you fly to Nigeria, as soon as you get off the plane, the extortion begins. And it's, it doesn't make for a good experience. And the thing that I have an issue with is like the corruption is from the very bottom up to the very top. It's top to bottom and bottom to top. So there's no way you can escape it. You know, it's hard for you to buy land. It's, it's, just, it's just hard, you know, because a lot of people are selling land that they, they don't have ownership to or no permission to sell and think just all kinds of things going on there's you know a lot of single uh, women being murdered for their resources and just all kinds of things going on there or just you know scammed so and not saying everybody does it but as we all know one bad apple ruins the bunch right so I get what he's saying I totally get what he's saying and I think it's a wonderful place to visit because when you go visit, then um, you, you're on a tour and they can protect you from all of that stuff. They can isolate you or insulate you 
from any of that bad stuff. You know, take you to the, the one clean beach, because most of them are like trashed with garbage. Um, you know, like, you know, to, you know, the best restaurants, the nicer hotels and all those things. So, um, so I say if you're going, if you want to go to Africa, if you're still feeling it, um, absolutely visit, just like Go Black was saying. But um, like I said, uh, the thing that turned me off most to Africa was the people. Because I said that I, I got treated so poorly. They were even calling me white, you know. So that's another clue that they don't, they don't see us the same. They just don't. They don't see us as one of them. And, uh, and I know it hurts because a lot of us are going there because uh, we want to connect to our roots. You know, we want to go and experience this magical, um, you know, this, this, I guess, magical feeling or just experience by going to Africa. And it's not happening in a, a lot of a lot of ways. I mean, it will if if you just go there, visit, go on your tour, then you'll probably be fine. But then it depends on the tour and the tour guide. Okay, I'm gonna mention a name, but I'm not missing. I'm gonna not gonna mention his name. But you know who you are if you ever see this video. Uh, you know, so your experience, depending on the tour operator, it might be good, it might be bad. You know, it might be indifferent. But sure, go visit Africa, and and if you you have the if you have the heart, you can move there, you know. But I don't recommend it. I don't recommend you move to any of these countries. And I know there's going to be a lot of people. Oh, you know, I love it. The people are the salt of the earth. Blah blah blah. But if you really visit Africa, like I did, because I stayed with a local family, and oh boy. Oh boy. So, uh, and like I said, you know, when they're, you know, uh, you're going to be a target, you know, basically a target for your resources. And I just want you ladies to know that everybody's in on it, okay? They mama, they daddy, all their siblings, their friends, the people at work. Because I'm going to talk about this because, uh, you know, I had like three, three scammers, three romance scammers, right? And uh, I met everybody, you know, mama, daddy, sister, brother, uncles, everybody. I went to the job and met the boss and all the co-workers. So just because somebody's introducing you to their family and their friends and their co-workers, that does not mean that they're into you, that they love you. And uh, that they're thinking, well, they might marry you so they get their hands on the resources, but just, uh, just use your common sense. And I say, um, if you're going to go, just, um, just don't get involved. Don't get involved. Go have fun and come on back to the United States, even though technically I'm not in the United States right now, but, you know, go back home. Because there's no place like home. And I know we, you know, there's a lot of African Americans online talking about the United States isn't their home. But Africa is not your home. It's not, you know. And uh, I know nobody wants to hear that. It's terrible news. Um, it's sad because we thought, hey, we're being, you know, treated, ex you know, a certain way in the United States or the UK or wherever and we're gonna go back home to Africa you know but uh, it's not ready yet it's not ready for us to return it's not ready the people aren't ready their mind is not there because they're not seeing us as uh, the lost children or the children who were taken away and uh have come back home they're looking at us like hey i'm gonna get a bag off, off these people and i'm not saying all oh, everybody but it's a lot it's the masses because like i said it's from the little kids two three years old because they get taught early to you know the oldest guy you know one foot in the grave so just be careful you know go have fun but um and I mean, if you want to make the move, you can make the move, but uh, it's going to be tough. And 
a lot of these people who are pumping it up, they're doing so because, you know, they're selling tours. They're selling tours, relocation services, or whatever they need to do so they can make it over there. So just keep that in mind. Uh, don't be too hard on Go Black. <laughs> I understand where he's coming from. And I hope one day Africa is ready for us. So, but until then, you know, I'll be bopping around to other places right now. I'm in Mexico. And uh, so hopefully maybe I'll see some of you guys out here. So, but until, until next time, you know, I'll talk to you later. And uh, so go back to America. <laughs> Bye.